one or two of them. Second lane about to come up, but here he is for Ross Udib. Birthday boy today too, Roscoe. Happy birthday, Ross. And I think there's a race a little later on in the day for him. So we're boxed and set. The seventh of the day, first to pick six. I hope you've climbed aboard. Set and ready to go. A hot favourite the inside, racing. Zipping Malfoy begins fairly. A speed middle of the pack. Here we go to Thrilling April. Finds nicely down on the inside of runners. There is Jets in Flame. Oh, running right off the track. Your hot pot zipping Malfoy. Catch me if you can. He's got no chance. Down the back they go. Jets in Flame finds the lead here from Thrilling April. Back in the field there now too. Here he is uh, trying to kick into the races. Pampas to round the outside of that runner. We go to Funny World further back there now uh, to Pint Star and Zipping Malfoy up the back. Up they come. The inside Jets and Flame thrilling April over the top of Jets and Flame thrilling April. Then we go back there to Fun Time Girl. Uh, close here we've got to Pampas. Uh, there was another one up on the outside there. Funny Muddy. Further back would have been here he is. A Pint Star and Zipping Malfoy. He's just wandered across the line now. I hope he's A-OK. -okay, but he doesn't look too well. Jets and Flame will get us home number three here. And what's he at? 12.70 and at $2 the money about to Jets and Flame today. And he just kept pushing. And uh, and uh, good money for him with the hot pot uh, uh, being beaten. Three, six, and then we go to the four. Followed across here by the seven. Three, six, four, seven. And nothing up on the board as yet. Uh, I don't know if we can have a look at that uh, head on, guys. Here we go. Uh, two's jumped out, the nine. Uh, there is that uh, high head carriage he's got. What happens going into this first bend here with number nine? Um, just tries to get round, just loses his legs a bit there. Keep rolling, can we? Um, and there he's just, the eight's come across. He's gone over the eight there and uh, balanced himself up again, but he was gone from there, wasn't he? Um, lap around the outside, hopping around there like a kangaroo. Second line, flying Magnum, Deb Bale chasing Shadows and Samson Dash. Box and set, race number eight. Bunny rolling forward. <coughs> set and ready. Just about there. Race Journey again comes out running an out wide of the track. There we go to Kiowa is looking for a bit of room. There is chasing shadows very wide out. Samson Dash, Naughty Cordy. That's followed back there now by Fly Magnum Taylor's there now. Vicky's Quest and Deb Bale off the top and chasing shadows right off the track. will line them up in front though. Chasing shadows will get home here now uh, from Samson Dash. Then we go to the inside. We had Journey again out wide. The track was Fly and Magnum Kiowa Wiz. Uh, they've been followed to further back in transit here by Naughty Cordy, Deb Bale and uh, Vicky's Quest uh, was back towards the tail of the field. Number six will get you home. Chasing shadows over the eight and the one. Just a stuck out very wide, didn't it, to chasing shadows. And uh, ended up... Um, oh, Samson Dash is your favourite in the end, just looking at my board here. So just drove up between them going to this first bend. The inside was Journey again. Out wide are they starting to run at them now is Samson Dash. And... Uh, very, very wide chasing shadow, so gave them all a look at the rail. But uh, they weren't good enough. Six, eight, one, and seven, eighteen and seventy-two. A length by a length. We'll get those splits for you in a moment or two. But uh, second favourite getting you home in the second leg of a pick six today. Number six, uh, chasing shadows, elite state flow Joe Flyer for the uh, Kettlewell Phillips combination. Four sixty-six, and the run-in was a fourteen oh six. Here they are to the first being Journey again down on the inside the, uh, in front, but beautifully placed was chasing shadows, just got up between them and has proved too strong by a length as they've gone to the wire. The second one in the eight to Samson Dash, the crate. So last couple go forward. Race number nine, the Thornton Auctions. Set, ready. Green light is flashing for the ninth of the day. Bunny rolling up, set, ready. Racing. Opawa Doll springs out nicely and showing a bit of early speed out wide here as Platinum Playboy to the bend. They go Opawa Doll. Platinum Playboy sits pretty round the outside. In behind that runner there we go. to exciting girl looking for the rail now. Sipping Tequila trying to hit the outside as Fireside Blaze. In behind runners two Jets and Dream Opawa Doll and last of all Thrilling March. Off the top they come and Platinum Playboy stolen a big march on them here. A gap in the field there we go to Sipping Tequila will hit it quite strongly back there to exciting girl but the Playboy's in. The Platinum Playboy will Sip and tequila second. Full third across here. Who have we got here? Uh, we've got Thrilling News, Exciting Girl and Fireside Blaze in a line. Back there would have been Jets and Dream. Further back we go to Opawa Dull uh, there on crossing. Here, Platinum Playboy. He was so handy today, wasn't he? He was always going to get the prize right from the hop. He's just jumped out beautifully. 
and has done the job very, very easily. Uh, here, look at him in front, sipping tequila. Uh, down on the inside there, uh, further back to the six. Uh, that uh, that was exciting, girl, and thrilling marches in the photo. In fact, they put it up five, four, six, and two thirty and sixty eight. Running fourteen sixty four. We'll grab those other two splits when they put them up four eighty eight and sixteen oh four. So he's done it and had done it nicely in the end, hasn't he? Uh, Platinum Playboy has jumped out very, very well. Uh, the ones jumped out, run to the outside a little bit here, going to the first bend. But look at him, he's right up with the play going into the first bend. The two's been pushed into the rail there, thrilling march. And I don't think yeah, it's um, ended up for getting home for that. Core power, about 360, is it? Uh, and also money coming, thrilling Sprat in the back late. Same sort of money, 360. So box and set, green light through, bunny rolling it. Off the inside, core power, and outside, thrilling Sprat, your face. Racing, core power gets away nicely and runs straight down to the paint there and out wide of the track. There we go to Cash Knocker, pretty handy. Down on the paint there is Mahalo Road. Round the outside of runners, thrilling Sprat pops into the race. Wider still, there we go, two mint collision. Then we go Lachlan's Cash, followed back there, Tim's Tiger, thrilling Blitz. And last of all, there, Mahalo Road now. Off the top, they come and Cash Knocker's found the lead. Round the outside comes the Sprat. Further out there we go to Lachlan's Cash. We've got to finish on here, but thrilling Sprat's found down the lead out wide to Lachlan's Cash Rail there, Cash Knocker to the post, they go, Thrilling Sprat will get home here, Lachlan's Cash, Cash Knocker, then we go to Core Power, has been followed back there by uh, Tim's Tiger, uh, further back there we would have had Mahalo Road mid-collision, and a Thrilling Blitz will uh, tail them in, a good old race this, see three of them swinging in for home here, and you'll find I think that the Thrilling Sprat will just get the last bob in, uh, uh, in fact, Lachlan's Cash has got him. Number three, Lachlan's Cash has got it over the eight, the five, and the one. So Lachlan's Cash uh, does get him in the end. I thought Thrilling Sprat had just done enough here. Uh, let's have a look uh, to the post they go. And the eight, the three, the three, the eight. And head up, head down. And uh, yep, Lachlan's Cash gets home. All right, three, eight, five, and the one. Uh, they are 30 and 93. Uh, the winner's time splits 4.74, 15.89. And to the post, 15.04. A neck by one and a half for the official margin. And Lachlan's Cash did the job here on them last week and has done the job here again today. Uh, Core Power showed some speed, thrilling Spratt and Cash Knocker went a bold run as well. And the time, 30 and 93. But good finish, good race. This girl, proven Shelley races a green and white. Emma J fly and Flynn off the outside. Box set ready. Race number 11. <clears throat> the sprinters. Favourite off the inside. Set ready. Racing Kiwi Girl comes out running. There's a few going with it too. <coughs> Up there too is Ali's Girl and out wide of the track. Fly and Flynn might burst to the lead and grab them all. Fly and Flynn hits the lead here from Kiwi Girl. Back there now we go to Proven Shelley. Round the outside of Roses. We're so lucky though. Followed further back there by Ali's Girl, Emma J. Up they come the inside. Fly and Flynn home. Fly and Flynn. Uh, then we go to. We've got this. We're so lucky. Kiwi Girl, Proven Shelley. Back there was Emma J. Uh, further back on crossing would have been Ali's Girl. Uh, Dolly Scramble was back there. And and picnic time was never in the hunt. Well, kicking the butt here for a few. Number eight, Fly and Flynn. Flew off the lid, the eight. And uh, we'll certainly uh, knock the old pick six around here, that is for sure. Uh, relative outsider, if not the outsider, uh, of the field. And it's just uh, jumped around, crossed him, and uh, that was the end. Uh, Delwyn Hunt and uh, gets the prize here with uh, Fly and Flynn. Um, the outside there, we go to the seven. That being we're so lucky. He hasn't got home. He might have got home, the seven. He has. I think the seven might have got home here. Seven, eight, and one. So it's close here. The seven, the eight, and the one. We just await the judge here. Eight, one, seven. Eight, seven, one. Just uh, the angle. You just might go the seven here. <sighs> a bit of a rough call here, haven't we? We'll have a look and see what happens here. The judge hasn't found anything either. Uh, there, the eights had to work to get across. Seven there as well. We're so lucky. Five got knocked out of the race picnic time, so we never cited that after that. Jetson Playboy, Pure Theatre, Karuba King, Lansvale Spark. Hot Wax, Big Time Treasure, Jetson Juice. Jack's Wholesale meets the last of the day. Nash Jack, sponsoring here for a long time. <clears throat> Bunny rolling up, set and ready. Just about there. 
Racing, getting away nicely up wide here is Jetson Jules, a bit of speed the inside, Jetson Playboy goes the lead Jetson Playboy, astute, was in second posse, there we go back there now to Jetson Jules, follow the paint there by Hot Wax, round the outside there is Lansvale Spark, right off the track there, Pure Theatre, big time treasure up they come the inside, Jetson Playboy Jetson Playboy, astute, was then we go to the next runner across there would have been Jetson Jules, followed back there by Hot Wax further back in transit was Pure Theatre followed back by Karuba King towards the tail of the field there was big time treasure Treasure. Never really got into the race, so this afternoon did big time treasure, and Karuba King was in that pack as well. Jetson Playboy off the inside will do the job for you. And you closed it off favourite, around about the three and one dollar and forty cent mark. Has got you home, just jumped and kept on running today. Gordon Wilson, he's picked up uh, top and tail the pick six today, hasn't he? <coughs> that first leg of pick six for him with Jets and Flame. And now comes up Trumps here with uh, Jets and uh, Playboy. Uh, just uh, jumped and kept on running today, did Jets and Playboy. We'll get you home. Uh, we'll beat the eight, the six, and then we go back to the two. One, eight, six and two. Camera not required here. One and a half lengths by three quarters. And no official times up there as yet. Ooh, the fives come out and just wanted to get across, didn't it? Whack the three right in the gut there. And that was the end of it. Didn't like that. And you can't blame it. Uh, but uh, number one, and uh, Gordon Wilson's charge by, uh, by Magambo from Delta Bell.